Hey guys, welcome back to day 20 of the Advent of Cyber. Sad enough, it's almost over this weekend. So let's have fun as much as we can for the next couple days. So this is day 20 firmware. So we're going to do some reverse engineering here. And the learning objectives is learning about what is firmware reverse engineering, techniques for extracting code from the firmware, extracting hidden keys from an encrypted firmware, and modifying and rebuilding a firmware, right? So like it says here, what is firmware reverse engineering? You know, every embedded system, such as cameras, routers, smartwatches, etc., has pre-installed firmware, which it owns its own set of instructions running on the hardware's processor. It enables the hardware to communicate with other software running on the device. Firmware provides a low-level control for the designer developer to make changes to the level. So what does this mean? You have an iPhone, an Android, an Apple Watch, a um, Fitbit, whatever. These all have firmware that reside in it. You know, like the old school routers, like the, the Linksys routers, you can run like, w, I think it's WTR or WRT, something like that. You can modify the firmware so you can make some changes and some cool stuff. I don't have that problem anymore. I have a a firewall with a whole bunch of craziness going on in my network. So I don't have those old school routers anymore. But make sure you always update your firmware because you want to make sure you're up to the latest and greatest. That's pretty important. All right, so firmware reverse engineering steps. So here are some steps that we can take and the types of firmware analysis. So firmware analysis is carried out through two techniques, static and dynamic. So you have static analysis here and then dynamic analysis down here. You can go through you know, bin walk, running, uh, running mod, uh, firmware mod hit, so FMK, and then firmwalker. And then you can use, uh, I never know how to say this word, QM, Dome. This is an open source emulator. You use this, like, say, for example, if you had like GNS3 when you're studying for like CCNA or CCNP from Cisco, you can use these kind of images to run on your environment so you can practice networking and all that good stuff. Then you have GBD, so um, GDebugger. All right. So as we come down, we can see, uh, shall we reverse engineer the software or the firmware? Let's do it. Okay, so we start the machine. If it asks for a password for sudo, I'm guessing it's going to be Santa1010. So if we just do here, I'm guessing sudo su, asks for a password, it's going to be Santa1010. There we go. Okay, so let's clear this out. Start from scratch. Let's see where we are. PWD, we're in home test. So let's go down a little bit more here. So we need to. Uh, did you, PIR. So it looks like we are. We need to get to the home. Let's see. Who am I? I'm sure I'm root. Okay. So let's go cd dot dot. Like we have to be Ubuntu. No. There we go. Okay. Cool. Now it's there. All right. So we're good to go now. So now, step one, we're going to do start start here with step one. So, in in these in this step, um, McSkitty will verify whether the binary uh, firmware v2 in, encrypted dot uh, gpg is encrypted through the file. Okay. So, okay. So let's go ahead and give this a go. So let, we're going to use binwalk. Let's do binwalk dash E space dash N and then oh wait, actually first we have to CD into bin. Sorry, let's CD into bin. And now we can see that. So here we go. So let's do bin walk. Okay, dash E space dash N firmware. We can just tab that out because it's there. Perfect. So that's step number one. So step number two is finding unencrypted older versions so we can extract. 
confusing, so we probably have to go into bin unassigned. So let's go ahead and cd dot dot, and then let's go ls really quick, make sure it's there, and bin dash unassigned. And we can do an ls so we can see the older version here. All right, so let's do extract firmware dot sh sh because it's a shell script, and then we can do firmware 1.0. And then let's scan for the firmware. It's going to do all this fancy stuff here. OK, so it's done down here. Perfect. So let's continue with the process. So we're going to find the encryption keys. The way we're going to do that is that we're going to do grep space dash IR key. And then we're going to see the keys. So hopefully, let's see grep. Right, let me see if I can clear this out so I can start from a clean slate. Let's do grep. IR key. And here we go. Perfect. So down here, we can see that fmk slash root uh, fs slash gbg, gpg, public key, private key, etc. So we can see that's all good. So let's continue. Let's see what the passphrase is of the key. So let's go ahead and give that a go. So we're going to do grep dash IR, our phrase. Okay, so down here you can see it's Santa zero. I'm just going to make a note of that just to have it. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so. What I want to do is make a note of that. So Santa is it at two zero. That's going to be the paraphrase. Perfect. Just so I don't lose it or forget it because I tend to forget things. All right. So step number four, decrypting the encrypted firmware. So the keys, as you can see, are in this location. So what we're going to do is decrypt that. OK, so let's go ahead and just clear this out. Hit the caps lock off. So we can select clean slate. So let's do that. G, PG, space, dash, dash, import. Okay. And then at that location. So it's FMK slash root, uh, GPG, and then private key. Okay. And then Right here is the paraphrase, uh, the para the passphrase. So it's going to be Santa at 2022, I assume. Okay, perfect. So it is the secret key is imported. Everything looks good so far, so good. So the next step here is importing the public key. So we're pretty much going to do the up arrow, and instead of private, we're going to do public. Okay. Let's go ahead and delete dot key. Well, that good stuff. Okay, perfect. So here goes the key here. I don't know if we need to copy that down. Let me see if there's anything like that. No, we can we can list the secret keys. Okay, so let's go ahead and list the secret keys now. GPG, uh, GP, GPG, list secrets. Keys. Perfect. Here we go. Here goes the secret keys. Good to go. Awesome. So now, once this, once the keys are imported, McSkitty decrypts the firmware using G, GPG command. Again, change the directory by entering the the bin. So we have to go cd dot dot cd cd to bin. And then we can do, let's do an LS. We can see that. So we could do GPG and then firmware. Let's go ahead and. Oh, I did this again. G, G, firmware. All right, the paraphrase is going to be Santa at 2022, I assume. Bad phrase. San at 20. Okay, must have typoed that. 
All right, perfect. So there it is. We're good to go there. Now, once we are here, we can look at the, let's do an LS dash LAH. Okay, we can see everything here. Okay, perfect. So we can see the the encrypted and then and then the dot GPG. Perfect. All right, so the next step here in step five is re reversing the original encrypted firmware. So we're going to extract and then we're going to do 2.2 now. Okay, so let's do extract dash firmware dot sh and then firmware encrypted uh, 2.2 encrypted. Okay, let's go ahead and give that a jingle. Perfect, so the extraction has been successful. Perfect. Now, if we go down, we can start answering these questions now. So now what we can do, we have to get into, so for the flag, we have to get into, I'm guessing here. So if we do an LS, let's CD to uh, FMK, LS, we can go into CD roots, FS, LS, and then we can see this flag.txt right here. So let's cat flag.txt. And then it's, we got the firmware code. Okay, so let's see. I don't copy this because I don't see any clipboard. So I won't have to type this. Sorry, guys. And it's got underscore underscore. Type today, firm where underscore code. Perfect. We got it good. We got it good. All right. What paraphrase value? I'm guessing it's Santa. Santa two. Perfect. And then after reverse engineering, after reversing the encrypted firmware, can you find the build from? All right. Let's see. See ls. How about we do an ls dash l everything? Let's see if we can. All right. So sure it's going to be in here. Let's just hit hint real quick. Yeah, that's that's the command we need. All right. So I'm I'm assuming that we're in the right one. Going up. Okay. Here we go. See it builds. Maybe it's zero dot nine dot thirty. Gotta go. I have no idea. Right. At the reverse, find the build number or B. Keep looking. Thought it would be zero zero dot nine dot thirty. Is something dot something dot something something. Let's see. Are in the right directory. Are in here. Zero. See anything? Zero. See else. After reverse engine firmware, find the build number. 
Let's see something. Let's just do an LS. Camera full. Okay, so let's just see the into camera. Let's see now if we do any let's see if I do boy. one CD source All right so let the flag we got the after reversing Let's see if it's up here. I cleared a lot of stuff out, so I don't think. Let's see if I have it. Your description. Way up. Okay. All I see is zero dot nine dot thirty. Or maybe it's two two dot six dot thirty one. Two dot dot thirty. There we go. Boom. Got it. That was fun. And we completed. So that is day twenty. Thank you, Try Hack Me. This was a a brain twister, but we got it. We got through it. So thank you so much for viewing. And if you have any questions, hopefully you struggle just like me. Struggling is where we learn. So if you guys enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, have an awesome day, folks.